Uh, it looked on par with how your thrusting normally looks. Perfect. Yeah. Gosh, that someone cut that clip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and in lieu of that, all you ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this fine production here. I'm not quite sure where these here pants are gonna fit in this whole series, but these here today are mantles. But before we jump into those pants, I'm gonna hit you got a word for our sponsors. I'm gonna hit real quick. Uh, well, we don't have sponsors, but um, no, I didn't know what else. And to we're say. gonna we're gonna try to keep it that way. But what would really help us is if you guys just support the channel best you can. Uh, we've got a couple partnerships: U.S. Elite Gear, Slide Tactical for slings, U.S. Elite Gear for Gucci. So, uh, some of the pants we talked about in the series, U.S. Elite Gear. So anyway, we'll have that stuff linked below. And then um, hey, if you want to tip your waiter, <laughs> you know, that's why we have a Patreon page. And then uh, if you need real estate help. 1911 Syndicate, that's our day gig. He's in Arizona, I'm in Utah, and then we've got people that are sprinkled all over the freaking country because yeah. we're in America and we try to serve the American people. Although some people internationally hit us up and it's always, it's kind of awkward sometimes, but all good. Anyway, uh, let's freaking kick it off. Let's kick it off. So Jake likes to hold the paper notes, you know? I do it all digitally and then I just put it on my notes app because it works. First off, our relationship with Mantle is this. It's not, we don't have a relationship. I saw these, I liked them, I bought them. Yeah. And since we're talking about purchasing price, usually I end with that, but you know, talk about how I bought them. So I'm gonna tell you, no, I'm gonna tell you at the end how much they're worth. Switcheroo. <laughs> right? Switcheroo, everyone. Keeping you on your feet. So Mantle Clothing, if you guys don't know who Will Petty is, you should. Um, law enforcement officer who is in a officer involved shooting around a vehicle. And now, what would you call him, the godfather of ECQB? Um, I don't know if I'd go that far, but in terms of like real time relevant, I think he's probably like the go-to guy right yeah. now. Yeah. So VCQB, vehicle, close quarters, battle, combat, CQC, CQB, whatever acronym you use, right? Uh -huh. um, around a vehicle. And the reason why is because around vehicles are where most officer involved shootings happen. Sure. So he wanted to design clothing that adheres to that. Yeah. Something that is, you know, robust and heavy, not heavy weight wise, but a heavy material that can take a lot of abuse. Knee pads. Um, they do have some like anti-rain, like anti-moisture properties to them, okay. which is cool, but he has a whole other line of rain gear. Okay. We're just gonna talk about these. These are the Mod 2s. So the difference between the Mod 2s and the Mod 1s is simply the Mod 1s don't have these knee pads. These knee pads are fixed into the pants. Okay. So they don't come out. Okay. Now, on top of that though, there's an insert inside that I can put another knee pad in. Do you have those in now? I do. Okay. Yeah, they're very, So you've very got nice. like a double layer thing It's going a double on. layer. Okay. Yeah, so you have your outer and then the inner, inner layer is just like a, it's a knee pad a molded knee pad that's foamy. Kind of foam? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. By the way, we, 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 in case you're ever like, Jake doesn't seem like he knows anything about this. That's kind of the point of this is go, okay, Chris, Chris yeah. is taking these things, I'm taking these things. And literally, I'm like you guys, I'm learning about these right now. I'm gonna ask questions and stuff like yeah. that. That's why we do this, free form, right? Um, materials that he uses. So I had to write this down. Polar Tech Power Wool Cordura Nyko Tactical Rip Stop 5050. Okay. What that means, I don't know. I've never heard of that. I've I mean, never heard about it. You know what's crazy is going through this pants series, I don't think I've seen the same material like used in two pairs of pants. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's almost like all these Gucci pairs of pants and it's like, man, they've all got different fabrics. It's kind of interesting actually. You would think yeah. there would be, well, this is the fabric. Yeah. Everyone's using different shit. Different shit. And yeah. this Polar Tech stuff is trademarked. Mm. So there's probably rights by using that fabric and certain companies maybe don't want to purchase those rights. You okay. know what I'm saying? Sure. So that could be it. Um, First initial pr impression of these, I wore them on the range when we filmed with Jason Beefley. If you guys go see that, the 416 review. Mm -hmm. um, first thing out the gate you mentioned was, hey dude, those are like baggy. Like yeah. baggy baggy. Yeah, they struck me as like real loose. Oversized and baggy, right? Yeah. Which the waist fits about perfect. Kay. Everything else is a little baggy. Okay. But at, now that I've washed them, and you even mentioned it this morning, they've, they're not as baggy anymore. Like they kind of, I mean, they were MC Hammer parachute pants. Yeah, they, they were, I was like, dude, the fit on those things is kind of wonky, but. Yeah, it was yeah. a little, little annoying, but now that, you know, I washed them, they actually kind of shrunk up a little bit. Roughly how many times you washed them? Two or three times. Okay. I hang dry all my shit and wash on cold too. Okay, so you haven't even so, dried them? No. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. I don't, I don't, I hang dry all my clothes. Oh, big guy, big man. Little more we know about Chris, yeah. yeah. Hang dry. Um, 
because they're baggy. Sorry, I'm just reading notes and then we'll go from there. Um, you guys are used to it from Jake. Yeah, we get it. Because um, they're baggy, it does, the plus side to that is mobility, right? Sure. You have tons of room to move around. Um, we're, as you'll see in the B-roll footage, we're kneeling, doing some lunges and some hip thrusts. Yep. And yep. I wasn't inhibited. Did I look inhibited in my thrusting? Uh, it looked on par with how your thrusting normally looks. Perfect. Yeah. Gosh, that someone cut that clip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh geez. All right. It is June, so we all know what month June is. Do, do, do we? You? I'm totally clueless. Oh, it's Gay Pride Month is June. Well, do you fit right in? Then? I mean, that's why you knew. <laughs> you obviously, oh geez, this took a turn. Anyways, um, so the crotch or the nut area and the ass have Tell me about it. a stretchy type material. That's one thing that we found with all these pants is that they all, in those key areas, have some sort of stretchy, breathable fabric. Okay. Um, this is a little different. It's almost like, a, it's not smooth, it's like textured. Almost it feels like fine sand almost, because okay. the texture on it. But I mean, I could ninja kick the shit out of you. I can do squats just fine. I mean. You think you could lift your knee Dude, as I high as this face? beat the shit out of you. I would block you just it. saw that. I would block it. I would counter punch you. <laughs> From this far away? Exactly what I would do right there. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Anyways. Um, geez, this is getting out of control here. The coolest thing about these pants I think that I've found is there's nothing extra that is not needed. Okay. So on some of these pants, and this isn't a knock to those pants, but I would say like we'll design these like everything you need, nothing you don't. The thigh pockets are a little rotated towards the center of you. Yeah. So if you're sitting down, you can access them. Like if you're in a patrol vehicle, you gotta get to that. Mm -hmm. You can. Oh. Whew. That's why the professionals, see, you see will that? notice that mine's in the pocket. See that articulation there? Yeah. I was so articulated it fell out. I'll teach you to be in Hollywood one day, kid. Oh geez. But I do like that about these, that the, the pockets are right there. Like on the drive out, I had to get my wallet and it's just, there's no moving around or anything. It's just right up top, which is nice. Um, they do have little, as you can see here, where my mic is clipped, knife pockets up front. They do have little pockets on the back here, which I don't know if he designed it this way, but a can of chew fits perfectly in there. AR mag going that? Mm, let's see. Yeah, perfectly. It's... Yeah. Perfectly. Yeah. Now it's gonna be a little loose, yeah. but if you, especially on the range, if you're kind of static. Yeah, not bad. Totally fine. And then one cool, my mag back. well, I was gonna use it again, but. Well okay. then. No, you can have it. Um, one thing, I don't know about yours, but most combat pants do not have butt pockets. Butt pockets. It's been hit and miss for me. Has it? Yeah. I think this is the only pair I own from UF Pros and the other ones that have butt pockets. Okay. Which is, I don't know if you like putting your wallet there or you want to carry an IFAC there, like you're a SWAT guy and you want to throw like an extra tourniquet in your back pocket or whatever the case may be, right? It is nice. Um, let's see here. Oh, these front pockets for your hands are like oversized. Like there's a lot of room in there. So if you got big mitts. Yep. And see how low they go? I mean, it goes to the middle of that pocket. Yeah. I don't, I don't so. like what you're doing, but yeah. Well, I'm just showing you how low it goes. Yeah. But it looks like you're pleasuring all the way down here i don't know where your shit hangs man well you just give me a compliment just route it under your thigh rig. yeah yeah it gets it gets it just keeps it in line that's la rosa for you <laughs> <laughs> he's got to tie it down um the coolest thing about these and maybe off or once we change or whatever however we do this the inner lining of the waistband has a rubber like gasket so if you tuck in a shirt that rubber mm. keeps your shirt tucked in i get it it may seem like a small thing, mm. but as you know, a long day on the range, you're always like re-tucking shit. Yeah. After all that, I haven't had to re-tuck my undershirt or anything. That's good. Right in place, super nice. I think that all other pants companies, if any of them watch this, I highly doubt it, throw in something like that. Yeah. Because I really, really like that. It's the only pair of pants I have that have that. Okay. And it's just like a double layered rubber gasket and it's a little tacky. So it just keeps your shirt Well, especially in. for an LE guy, it's not like you can walk <clears throat> around looking like a slob like like this, you know, so your shirt's like gotta be in. Right? Um, let's see here. Other than that, I think that's it. We went over all the notes I had. What's the price on those things? I'm just about to get okay. to that. So Mod 1s are 265, and again, Mod 1s don't have the exterior knee pads. They have the ability to put in interior knee pads, Okay. but nothing 
over like this, right? Mm -hmm. These Mod 2s are a whopping $275, $10 more for the knee pads on the exterior. Okay. So part of me was like, well, why don't I just get those? Right? Okay. So 275, I'd put it in the ballpark of most tactical pants. You know, I've seen them from 250. For Gucci. To 400. 400, you're top of the top I mean, of the line. We got some. Yeah, but so, I'm, I'm saying, look, people are used to spending, you know, 70 bucks on 511s or something. And by the way, nothing wrong with no, that. We no. tend to review fairly Gucci gear around here if you're, you're new to the channel. But like, yeah, inside of the real Gucci price bracket, yeah, 275 is pretty normal but it ain't normal for normal you know normal, normal yeah, range I get what pants. You're saying. i mean and then the, you know do we need these pants for out here for what we're doing i would say yes and like here's, this? here's my caveat yeah well this especially there's this apparently was like a rundown hotel or something i don't know what's going on here but broken glass there's needles there's nails rusty nails so some combat pants are nice especially with knee protection yeah. you don't want a rusty nail into your i don't knee you know i don't um, so price wise, I think it's fair. Um, what's funny too, with these pants as part of this review is like, I wear these around the house or like to the grocery store because I want to see how they feel out and about. Plus, plus something I didn't mention, which is, we're going to get to that now. I'm in Arizona and it's hot as Satan's taint down there. These have vents, right? So I have a vent right here on the inside. Okay which is nice, zips up, zips down. And then another vent right here by the knee. So the idea is to circulate the air. So you got one, two, three, four total. Yeah. Which is nice. And they're kind of hidden. Um, knee pads look like you can adjust location mm -hmm. of them or no? Yes, so it has a little uh, draw cord here, like shock cord that you can cinch down and it'll pull the knee pad to the left. And so mine are sitting exactly where they should. Can you raise them up or down nope. or just uh, lateral? Nope, they're okay. fixed. Yep, okay. just lateral. So, which, you know, that would be one thing I'd, I'd like to add because I'm taller. I'd like them to be a little higher. Yeah. So um, like on, on cries and yes. to the best of my memory, my cries, I think, too. are the, is that right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm just going to stick with cry yeah. for my own reasons here, but, um, you know, you can adjust lateral and you can adjust vertical and i think when it comes to knee pads that's a really good feature because like height is you know yeah. is important yeah yeah i think that vertical adjustment yeah be is nice. kind of crucial yeah, it, would, yeah, be it nice. would be nice um especially you know i'm six four you're what five nine between 10 and 11. really yeah between yeah so what five ten and point one inch half oh geez five ten and a half five ten and a half that's right, ladies, above do you, average. Do you say your height in half inches? Uh, I barely scratch 5'10", so, you know. So it's just 5'10"? I don't talk about it. Oh. He avoids it. Chris. Dude, I don't know if I'm 5'6 or 5'11". I have no clue. All right, well, He's tall. you guys are no help. <laughs> Anyways, final thoughts on this. Super hard use pants that, I mean, I'm happy I bought. They, uh, I wasn't disappointed. You know, it sucks if you buy a pair of pants for $300 and then you don't like them. Yeah. You know, I've been very happy with them. They come in this uh, mantle green, which next to OD green is very, very similar. And he did that because some SWAT units wear OD green, mm -hmm. right? And then they also come in just straight black. So you got two color options. Two color options. And the reason behind that okay. is these are more LEO focused, yeah, so, not but, you know, combat. Well, and Petty's very, very focused um, on the law enforcement market. Yep. Um, and there's pros and cons in that. Yeah. There's pros and cons in that. Yeah. And then my only con is there's not a hook on the bottom here to clip them to like your shoelaces. So if you're in, you know, more of a wet environment or like you just want them to stay down yeah. around your boots, there's no clip for them. He did reinforce the heel, which is nice. So if you pop off your boots and your pants are in the way, you're not ripping your pants. I'm, um, I'm going to ask this because it kind of winds up being a big part of pants. Uh, in terms of the closure, uh, yeah, button just a clasp. Just a giant button. Just a big button? And okay. a zipper. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which I dig. You know, some are using Velcro. You, we'll get into all that. Um, do we want to do crotch shots as we're doing that or no? Uh, at some point, we'll have some okay, crotch cool. shots. Yeah. But it's just a giant. I mean, the button's like this big. It's huge. Okay. So, big button. And, uh, you know, I think they're well built, well constructed. <laughs> My only downside other than the hook is... The material is a little bit thicker and heavier. So if you're in a warmer, hotter environment, might might not be as comfortable as some of the other pants. But mm -hmm. 
that's where your trade-off is. Yeah, the, now the counterbalance to all this, right, is Chris runs the review, and if I run a review, Chris can still give his opinion, even though he's yeah. not the one with the time on the pants. I'd say my probably biggest con would be, aesthetically, they just don't do a ton for me. Yeah. Um, and that's just, uh, you know, that just is what it is. I, I, I would much prefer removable knee pads. That would be one thing for me, but again, you could buy the pair without the knee the pads. ones, yep. But I would just like the option to essentially have those, but slap in knee pads. Um, and yeah, aesthetically, they're, I, I get the minimalist kind of thing in terms of like everything you need, nothing you don't. Yeah. I get it. Just design-wise, not my favorite pair of pants, but no, that's no just me. I haven't worn them, so that's just a, you know, me laying eyes and that's yeah. my two cents. I have put some thought into that of, as why maybe that is. Because I, I felt that way at first too. I think it's because we're more into the combat related pants, not so much like a law enforcement pants. Yeah. Because the combat pants obviously aesthetically have a very different look. Yeah. So as you guys will see. So cool. Um, but I'm happy with them. You know, check them out, guys. Uh, it's, you know, he's smaller just starting up. So they do limited drops, um, like 200 pairs at a time. Cool. And they sell out, I mean, quick. His rain gear, too, is, we'll get into that another time, but his rain gear is very well thought out. And I'd like to buy some for future stuff but right on. so if you guys want to reach out you know mantle i'd love to talk to you probably right not on. gonna reach out though so it's all good anything else i think that's it man you got anything else for me nope uh i feel 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 good cool you guys got any questions you want to try on my pants yeah if i can get in there for a second okay cool be like a tent get in where get, get in, in chris's there. pants <laughs> i want to get in his mantles oh. <laughs> that's a good uh that's a good and place we'll to... cut